Say Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahusha, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahusha, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahusha. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four corners of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity in truth. Shalom. I just want to do a a lesson on this um coming board message um text from this uh this uh, mighty man sixteen sixty eight you know these Christians they know they bug out you know this Christian is reprobate and it clearly clearly Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not dealing with these Christians you understand because their agenda is their agenda is to save save the um the oppressor their agenda is to live together with the oppressor. Right, their agenda is to stay in this wicked ass kingdom. So the most are not dealing with these Christians, and the most are gonna destroy all these Christians. Right? So basically, right, this video what I did, it was um Christianity is a broken system, right? And and I was going into reincarnation, you know, Christian Christianity don't believe in um in reincarnation, right? You understand? They don't believe in it because they don't have the understanding, right? Um, he said, um, "He said it. It is a new covenant. It is a new covenant. It, a new fresh start, bro. So who the new covenant was made with? Right? The new covenant was made with the Israelites. It wasn't made with these. With, it wasn't made with, with the so-called white man, or the, or the so-called Japanese, or the so-called Chinese, or the so-called Africans." Or the so-called East Indians or the so-called Arabs. It wasn't made with none of these, none of these heathen nations. The new covenant is the New Testament. Covenant means testament. And it was made with the Israelites. Right? This is where the new covenant made with the Israelites. Right? <coughs> let me get. Let me go. Let me go to the so lucky, let me go to the new covenant. You know. This this is edify the elect. Right? You know, these Christians, you know, they, they don't read and they don't understand the scriptures, right? They don't understand the scriptures. They are a bunch of reprobate, right? And the most are going to destroy them. Because when they reject knowledge, right? The most I set up is meant to teach the truth, you know, but they, they, they're going to follow the, the they're going to follow the, 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 the pastors who deceive in, who deceiving them? Who plucking the skin off the skin off of the bone? Right? You understand? <clears throat> right? Oh yeah, Hebrews. Um, I think it's Hebrews eight. Let me see. Right. Stuff from um, <coughs> stuff from verse six, right? Yeah, this is Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6. But he said, But now had he obtained a more excellent ministry. He said, By how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. And this is Yahweh Shai, who the well God Jesus, which was established upon better promise. For it, he said, For if that first covenant had been flawless, then should no place have been sought for a second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day comes, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So where, where is the other nation? Where is the other nation? The house of Israel and the house of Judah is the Israelites. The house of Israel is the, is the northern kingdom. 
which is the so-called Latinos and the so-called Native American Indians, and the House of Judah, the so-called Negroes, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which is the Southern Kingdom. Where is the other tribes? Where is the where? So like, where is the other nations? Where is the so-called white man? Where is the so-called Chinese? Where is the so-called Japanese? Where is the so-called Africans? Where is the so-called um, Arabs? And this, and so forth. Where is these nations? Right? He say, he say, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant. And I regard them not, said the Lord. Verse 10, he said, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. With the house of Israel, who else? The new covenant is with the house of Israel. Where is the other nation? You you Christians add into the scriptures, and there's a sin. And you're going to be destroyed for adding to the Most High word. He said, for this, is the, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a, a power, and they shall be my people. And this is in the kingdom. Right? The most I can put his laws, statutes and commands in our in our mind. The most I can program we not to go off. So the, the children of Israel are gonna be perfect, and that's why they're gonna live forever. Because they're not gonna sin, and that's why they're gonna live forever. Right? He said, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother say your neighbor is your brother your neighbor is your neighbor is your neighbor is the israelites your neighbor is not the chinese man next door by you are the east Indian man next door by you know your neighbor is your brother which is the israelite which is the 12th son of jacob right he said and he said and they shall not teach every man his neighbor even he and even every and even every man his brother saying know the lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest, and all is the Israelites. Right? So you 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 Christian do not know the scriptures, man. You you Christian are a bunch of reprobates. Right? You don't you don't know the scriptures. Right? So we go back to this parable I talking about with Lazarus. Right? We go back to this parable with Lazarus. Right, this question, this question bugged the hell out, man. You understand? It bugged the hell out, and they're proud. You know, the most I destroying the plantation Christianity. You understand? Yeah, the most I destroying the plantation Christianity. So the new covenant is made with the Israelites. He said, "Hell is a real place." of burning fire just like the story about the rich man and lazarus so who's the rich man and who's lazarus this is a metaphor right who's the rich man and who's lazarus the rich man is esau which is which which starting with the bank family family rock size rockefeller the dupans and goldman Sachs. they are the rich man who lazarus represent lazarus represent the israelites lazarus the word lazarus when you go into the word lazarus right it, it means who who God's help, right? Who the Most High can help? The Israelites. Who salvation for the Israelites, right? So this was a this was a parable, right? This is why it's saying um um this is why it say um Psalm seventy eight and two, and this is a prophecy. I will open my mouth in parable. I will utter dark saying of all. So Yahweh shall speak in parable because the 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 mystery, the mystery, of the, uh, of the scripture was not given to every one of the Israelites. So the most why that's why Yahweh is speaking parables, right? It's only is is only the elect gonna understand these parables because it was given unto them to understand it before the foundation of the earth, right? The hundred and forty-four thousand and the one third million children, they gonna understand. They gonna repent and turn back. That's why the most I allow Yahweh to speak in parables because he don't want everyone to get this. Right, this is mystery. These are these are the secrets of the heavenly Father. And he didn't give it to everyone, right? He didn't give it to everyone. Let me go to Matthew, and this is what the disciple asked him. 
Why speakers down to them in parables? Who you were speaking to? You were speaking to the Israelites. Right? Why speak it down to them in parables? Right? Um so okay, well, let me see. Look at one in Luke 2. Right? You 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 Christian is a you Christian man, you Christian true. You know the most I gonna destroy y'all. You know. Most I gonna destroy y'all. Alright, then we get the one. Uh, Luke. Uh, let me read this one, then I get the one in um, Luke. This is Matthew chapter 13, um, verse, verse 10. He said, and, and, his, and the disciple came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parable? And there was a prophecy that he can open the mouth in parables, right? He said, He answered and said unto them, Because it was given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it wasn't given. Right, so it wasn't given to you Christians. That's why you're reading it for Bayam, and you're thinking it's hell. You're thinking hell is a place of fire, which is a hoax. There's no such thing as a place of fire burning. Your spirit is a fire. So, how are you going to burn fire with fire if your spirit is a fire? Yeah? How are you going to burn fire with fire? You Christians are a bunch of idiots. This is uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 10. And he said unto you, it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of, of the Mosai, but to other in parable that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not hear. So the Mosai, hey, the Mosai allow his son to speak in parables. So you you reprobate can understand the scriptures. Right? So we go into the rich man, the rich man and the, and Lazarus. Right? This is Luke chapter 16. And let me start from um because these people is reprobate. So you say hell is a real place, right? Let me just go back to the comment. Right? He said, um, he said hell is a real place, right, of burning fire. Just like the story about the rich man and Lazarus. What happened? Question mark. Right? So, so were you saying, you saying that Abraham was in hell too? Because the rich man talked to Abraham. So Abraham was in the fire burning too. There's a question to you, Waki Taki asked Christian. Was Abraham in hell? People are a bunch of idiots. Right? This is Luke chapter 16, verse 22. And it came to pass that, that um, let me start from 23. This is Luke chapter 16, verse 23. And in hell he lift up his eyes being in torment so the in he right and in hell he who is the he the rich man which is which is the so-called so-called white people right starting with the elite banking family they're going to be the first the first the first crop of slave for the so-called white race and the rest who die going to come back through them right they're going to burn again and they're going to burn into slavery right this is luke chapter 16 verse 23 and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torment, torment was slavery, and seeing Abram afar off. So you saying Abram was in hell too, in the burning fire? You question is a bunch of reprobate. Right? He said, and seeing Abram afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Lazarus represent the Israelites. Right? Who God's help? Right? They represent the Israelite. Let me get a quick precept there. Right? Um... Um, this is Isaiah, Isaiah 14. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. He said, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the stranger shall be joined with them, and the stranger is the Israelites. Right? He said, And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. He said, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaid. And they shall take them captive who captive they were. And they shall rule over the oppressors. So the Israelites going to rule over the oppressors. And who's our number one oppressor? The so-called white man. He's our number one oppressor. Right? So we're going to rule Salakia. 
we're gonna rule over our oppressor right um, all right so back in uh, Luke 16 and 23 he said and he lift up his eyes right being in torment in slavery and seed Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom so Lazarus represented representing the chain of Israel who gonna be rulers in the kingdom of heaven you understand and his torment is about slavery there, there's this torment slavery right we're gonna rule over our oppressor and this one he torment slavery right um make um, lamentation Right, let me get a lamentation. Lamentation. This is Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Eda, which is you so called white people, that dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup which is slavery, also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt, thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. So, hey, you're going to go into slavery. Right, you 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 talk about people going into slavery, right? He said the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, you Israelites, right? You talk about Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins, right? So the rich man was being tormented because he was in captivity, right? He was being in captivity, right? Um, this is a uh, let me get this one Revelation 13 right Revelation 13 this Revelation chapter 13 um, verse 9 if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth the captivity shall go into captivity so a white man lead us into captivity so he that leads them in captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. The so-called white man and killed with the sword. Here is the patient and the faint of the saint. So he's gonna go into captivity. Right? You can't, you can't get around this. You understand? You 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 Christians cannot get around this. Right? So there was a parable that Yahusha is speaking, and the parable, the parable, the parable going into Going into Jacob and Esau. Right? See, so uh, Luke 16 and 23. And in hell, he lift up his eyes. Right? Hell, 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 hell is what slavery. That's where you catch higher hell. Right? And this is where we catch, we, and this is why we, we say, we tell you our hell is a condition. We in hell, slavery. We being oppressed. You know, we be eat, we eating GMO food. We sick in the body. Our people plague our people, our people have the uh, the, the plague of the heart. Our people bug out to the mind, eating out the garbage bin, all kind of thing that I'm not I'm not our people. So they they in hell. They're being afflicted. You understand? He said, and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torment, and see Abraham afar off. So you saying Abraham in hell? You question are out of your mind. And Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me. So now this devil want mercy. And why he cried? Because his, his sins, his sins, his sins, his, his sins gonna be double. Right? His sins gonna be double. This is Revelation. Um This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Um let me start from verse 5. Revelation 18 and 5, for her sins have reached unto the heaven, and the most I had remembered her iniquity, right? Good into you, so-called white man, and also America, right? It's a reward or even as she reward you, and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double, right? And that's why that's why he was begging for mercy. So he sins in the double, you gonna pay double for what he did, right? You saw how white people can pay double for what it did. Right? See, so, um, verse 24, Luke 16 and 24, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip, dip the finger of his finger in water and cool my tongue 
for I am tormented in this flame. And this flame is a metaphor for slavery. This is a metaphor for slavery. This flame. Because your spirit is a fire. You can't burn fire with fire idiots. You understand? This is a metaphor for slavery. You understand? The flame. Right? And these devils going into captivity. Right? Let me get the next one. Is Isaiah. We go back to Isaiah. Isaiah 14 and... Um, Isaiah 14, 14, I will ascend above above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. And this this devil. You know, they have the space program out there. And others where some of them are gonna hide to escape the nuclear destruction are coming. Right? This is where they're gonna hide, some of them are gonna hide in the bunkers and the ground bunkers. Right? He said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So these these so-called white people, especially these rock, rock, Rockefellers. Rachel Dumont and uh, Dupans, Goldman Sachs, they think that they are the Mosai because of the power and the wealth that they have, that the Mosai give them. Right? Verse 15, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell in the sight of the pit. They're gonna brought down, they're gonna be brought down to hell in the sight of the pit. Hell me was slavery. Right? They're gonna be brought down into slavery. Let me get uh, Isaiah 24. Right? You you, 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 you Christian finish. The Christian is a bunch of reprobate, right? That's why the Most High speak to speak speak. Uh, the Most High allow His Son to speak speak in parables. So, hey, the Most High, the ones that you, the ones that you degenerate, the Most High gonna destroy y'all. It wasn't given to y'all, right? This is um. This is Isaiah chapter twenty-four, um, verse twenty-one. This is going to the destruction of Babylon, right? And the and the um and the Most High gonna punish the the high ones and the kings and the earth and put them in in prison and in chain, right? This is this is, this is where this is going into Isaiah twenty four and twenty one, and it shall come to pass in that day, right, that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, starting with the Rockchise Rockefeller, all right, and the Dupans and the Goldman Sachs, right. He said, and the kings of the earth upon the earth, these these presidents, these prime ministers, the most are gonna punish them, right? Verse 22, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners and gathered in the pit. You understand? They're gonna be gathered in a pit. They're gonna be gathered as prisoners in a pit, prepared for a slavery, right? And shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days they shall be visit. You understand? So hey, the slavery. You understand this? We then got in the pit for was slavery, right? So you can't escape this. You 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 people cannot escape it. You know you you Christians, you know who do understand the scriptures, right? So let me go back to. Let me go back to Luke. All right, this is Luke chapter sixteen, verse twenty-two. No, so lucky for 24. He said, And he cried and said, Father, Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip his fing dip dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this in this flame. So you telling me you in you in hell in a flame of fire, a dip of water in a finger and cool it? You people you people you people bug out. So this flame this, this flame is a metaphor for slavery. Right, he said, but Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things, yeah. And now, in this lifetime, he did starting with the Rock of Rockefeller, the Rock Childs, the Dupans, the Goldman Sachs. They are the, they are, they receiving the good things, right? These Edomites, these so called white people, they're receiving the good things because this is this this is their time to rule, this is their rulership, so they're receiving the good things. Right, so in their lifetime they received the good things, right? And likewise, Lazarus evil things. Lazarus represent the Israelite. What evil things we receive? Slavery as one. We being eat, we eating GMO food. We being sick in the sick in the body. We dying from all kind of illness and disease. You understand? We our people, some of our people have the disease of the heart madness. You understand? We being oppressed every day, right? We the last. We see, we see last to hire and first to fire. You understand? So we receive the evil things. 
right? We receive the evil things, right? He said, but Abraham said, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted. Yeah, Lazarus going to be comforted. Lazarus, the kingdom is the Israelites. These other Eden nations are going to be slave in the kingdom of Israel, in the kingdom of heaven. These other heathens nation are going to be slave, going to be slave to us. They're going to be our servants, and the Israelites are going to be they're going to be rulers in the kingdom, right? He said, likewise, Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art and thou art tormented. Yeah, that that's, that's slavery, right? So there's no such thing as no hell underground of fire burning. That hell is slavery. You understand? That is slavery. Right? The most I said these these devil going into slavery. You understand? So these Christians don't know. These Christians don't know what they're talking about. You know, I think I make the point there. You know, the elect gonna understand. The elect gonna understand. Right? The elect gonna understand. He said. And yes, we Christians know the Mosai more than you, so called fake Hebrew Israelite. With no power, you are going to burn, right? You understand? So, he said, Crifodala, the truth about hell. Crifodala is, is a deceiver, you know? So, you know, these Christians finish, you understand? So, these Christians, you know, you don't, they don't understand the power of Lazarus and the rich man. So, they, you know, they finish, you understand? They finish, you know? And with that, hopeless lessons are defying. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But Hashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who move at a great stone. And a blessed sanitation to the Yom's in the full can of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.